What's going on guys? It's Steve and Susanna. Hi guys. And today or this morning we're on our way to Disney's Character Warehouse on Vineland, the Vineland location, which again if you're not familiar is the one closest to Disney World right outside of Disney Springs. It's Wednesday kind of in the morning. We're not super early but it's around 9.30 in the morning and uh, we wanted to head over there in the morning. Something that you guys know we normally don't do to avoid the chaos and the crowds. However, Susanna really wants to try to find the Minnie Mouse ears. And I guess I'm going for a banshee. I don't really know why. They have no idea what I'm going to do with the banshee. But if everybody else wants a banshee, then I have a fear of missing out on a banshee too. I have, what is it, Fo FOMO fear of missing out. But anyway, so we're heading over to the character warehouse this morning to see if we'll have any luck getting some of those items. Now, uh, being that it is in the morning and the store is very busy, um, if you guys don't know, if there is a capacity at the character warehouse and once the store reaches that capacity they can't let anybody else in until those people or guests come out so i don't know how much filming i'm going to do inside for that reason i don't want to like you know slow down the shopping process and you know keep people from getting in when they're trying to get their merchandise so i don't know how much filming we're going to do at least i'll try and film some of the new stuff in the ears and so forth but um we'll see how that goes once we get over there um also, tomorrow is the first day of the Food and Wine Festival in Epcot. Yay! <laughs> and uh, so we're planning to head over there at some point tomorrow. I don't know exactly when, yet it will be in the morning or later in the day. But uh, we definitely want to try some food and some of the yummy items all around World Showcase. But really, you guys know what we love, which is the merchandise. So we're heading over to yeah, Mouse Gear and so forth. We want to check out uh, the Food and Wine merch see what's there day one, what kind of cool stuff they've got, and we'll definitely be making a super cool vlog video for that, so stay tuned for that upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell, that way um, you're notified when we upload those videos, so you can see them first, if you only click subscribe, you're not going to be notified, so make sure you click the bell so you're notified, alright, let's head to the character warehouse, let's go, alrighty, we're here, we're in the line, Never planned on getting in this line. It's definitely against everything we normally do, but we're here in the line. We're doing this for banshees and ears. Now, the line is long. I think definitely it's gonna to get to capacity before everybody in this line gets inside. I but I don't think, so. th but I think there'll still be plenty of stuff for it, so. It doesn't look so, stupid. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yep. So we'll see how it goes. Yep. All right. Banshees! 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 Ah, banshees! Where are the banshees? Haunted mansion, tons and tons of dollar ninety nine dune buggies. But we're here for the banshee. Got it. Nine ninety nine banshees. Got the banshees. All right. Very cool. Got the banshee. Real quick. Pluto pillows. Fourteen ninety nine. Ton of Pluto pillows. Got the Sully pillows. Fourteen ninety nine. Those are new socks. Shirts. I'm trying to do this for you guys real fast. Susanna's in here looking at stuff too. Mugs, mermaid mug, on it. Take one of those. Cinderella mug. Oh, you got the haunted mansion one? I got my banshee. <laughs> I got a banshee. Okay, anything else real quick just to catch for these people that's, anything new? No, I think they're all the same banshee. It's the same banshee, right? Banshee! I don't know if it's limited. Why you want more than the one? Or what about the snow globe? What about the snow globe? Fourteen ninety nine. Here's something new for Christmas. This is a bath rebate. Light up wooden Christmas sign. How much is that? Oh, twenty bucks. It's interesting, right? They have more down at the bottom, but we don't need that right now, do we? Or no? I leave that up to you. Light up Merry Christmas sign. Think so? Uh, that's what I saw outside. Minnie Mouse head. Yeah. You gotta get the hat? Okay. Four ninety nine. dollars Okay. Mickey Mouse Club tote bag. Doonies for today. So all of these little assorted dream friend pillars, they're all new. Assorted dream friends. Tons of the birthday Mickeys. Tons and tons of your birthday Mickeys. Tons. Princess pillows, they've still got tons of those. They have these American plates. Yeah, how much are those for me, honey? That's $4.99. $4.99? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's new. How much is that one? You want that one? Okay, let's get it. Yeah. A lot of the King of the Strings. They're $7.99. They've got a ton of King of the Strings. We've got some Pandora pins, 2019 picture books. They have here the ear sticky notepad sets. Those are $3.99. Light up castle pens. They're $4.99. What is this one? Oh, Haunted Mansion wallpaper throw. $24.99. $75 regular price. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I love the Haunted Mansion pillow. Very cool. What was that price? It's on the tag on the side. Twelve ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And here this Yeah, they have one of these. How much is that? It's not the cheapest thing in the world. It's like three ninety nine, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the pen. It's written on the pen. It's on it. Three ninety nine. Yeah. It's the same watch as they've had for a while. It's the same ones. Don't see anything new there. Just real quick guys, just want to show y'all some of the merchandise in here. It's really, really crowded. I don't want to take too much time. There's a Haunted Mansion tee, the Glow in the Dark Haunted Mansion tee. This one is pretty cool, Ghost Hotel. Doesn't have the price, I think it's $12.99. Haunted Mansion wine glasses, the mugs, dune buggies. All right, guys. Well, um, we just finished up out at the character warehouse. We made our way back home. And uh, I think we did pretty good, you know? We got some items. Honey, let's do the reveal. What do we get? So up first is... I got for me this. <laughs> Excuse me, the Minnie Mouse Minnie head. Mouse head. They didn't have the Minnie Mouse ears. But I get happy when I see this. Can you try it on? No, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, try it on one time. Yeah, it looks great on you. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, well, they did have some ears. They had the American ears. That, that was it, though, right? Yeah. Just the American, American ears. But they didn't have any of the other ones that we were, or you were specifically looking for. Um, I we did. I believe it's complimentary magnets. And these are glow in the dark, right? Yeah, glow in the dark magnets. It's the ghost or whatever from the Haunted Mansion. Uh -huh. It's super, super cool. Yeah. And uh, the regular plus $20. 9.99. Now they had these over at um, at both outlets too. This is at Vineland or over at uh, iDrive. So at iDrive they had these and they had them here this morning. At Vineland. Look what we got. Got a droid. I don't know. I don't even know. His name is BB9E. It's from the Last Jedi. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't watched the Last Jedi probably since. I don't know. I've tried to watch it and I can't get into it. Maybe you guys liked it. I didn't, I'm not a huge fan. But anyway, so we got this droid and I I didn't even intend on getting it. It's just I saw somebody. Oh, look at that. Here. Uh huh. We even didn't try. Well, I, I didn't intend on getting this droid. It was just I was in line and I saw somebody else with theirs and then she said, yep. it's only $4.99. And I was like, what? $4.99 for this? So um, I said, well, let's get it. It says it's got 17 plus sound effects. Um, it's heavy. It weighs, I mean, like five, six pounds. Yeah. I'll have to report back to you guys exactly what it does. Or if you guys have already gotten one, let me know down in the comments. What did this thing do for you? I don't know if I should take it out of the box or just leave it in the box as a collectible. For but now we'll leave it in the box. Yeah, I think now we'll leave it in the box. But look, this one looks it's not from the park. This Disney store. store. It does say Disney store. However, where is the barcode though? Here. The barcode says Disney Parks. So it's Disney Parks, yeah. But the regular price was $29.99, marked down $4.99. So anyway, we'll play with it. Let me know if you played with yours yet, if you figured out what it exactly all does. What else do we get? I know we got something else down here. We got some mugs. Uh, oh, coffee mug. time. Every time when we were going, every time uh, they like uh, sold out that mug. Yeah. But this time we get lucky. Ah, oh, this one. Yeah. This is the Cinderella. Oh, the Cinderella one. That's like yeah. a race too. Right? Yeah. This is her and here the car. Uh huh. There's her carriage. Cool. Cinderella's yeah. carriage. They have some plate there with her images. Do they have the magic plate? And then also it's yeah. inside too. It says Mid midnight is just the beginning. Can you guys see the inside? I hope so. If I tap on it, you can see it. There you go. You can see what's written inside the mug. It's very, very, very cool. I like that a lot. 
You found this one at the end too. Yeah. It's almost like a pearl white. It's not just a regular it's white, but like a mother of pearl. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yeah. $2 .99. From seven. Great deal. Great deal. Yeah. I hear something opening. Something else is coming. <laughs> it's I like know. Christmas. We get some mugs this time. Ah, merry, a cool little mermaid this is Ariel written here. It says, it say, yeah, it's got Ariel's autograph on the back of it. I mean, my hands are covering it. Ariel on the back. That is a very, very cool mug. Okay. For you, Brad, nice. and we have been separated. Yeah. Remember you bring, I, I had already in my car. Well, that's the thing, yeah, we got separated. So I grabbed that's the mug here, and then the she pearl. grabbed the mug. Oh, it's oh cool. yeah, the pearl is on the back. Very cool mug. And this one was what? Uh, again, $2.99. Regular price, $27.99. Cha-ching! Nice deal. <laughs> I love our mugs. I love collecting our mugs. Da -da -da -da. Haunted Mansion. Ah. Now, we, I know we bought one of these before from Memento Mori back in the day, like a year ago. I get it Full price. Rent. Yeah, but now it's on sale. Regular price, $22.99, five dollars Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great one. It's classic. Nice. The Haunted Mansion classic mm -hmm. mug. Super, super, super cool. Like that one a lot. Yes, great mug. More mugs. More Christmas. Yeah, I even don't understand how uh, many mugs I get. That's good though. We, we love our mugs. They're great collectibles, guys. Like, if they're great souvenirs, if you want like a really dis cool Disney souvenir that's unique, get the mugs. Mugs are super cool. Ah, yeah. How cool is this? this? Is so, Cinderella's carriage. Yeah. Let me get my hands again. My big bear claws are blocking Cinderella's character. Can you guys see that? Isn't that and cool? And there's the two ninety nine. There's yeah. the handle on it. The design. You see how it's kind of like the wheels on it on the edges. Awesome. Regular price twenty seven ninety nine. Today at the character warehouse two ninety nine. Oh, it's got Cinderella's autograph on it too. Cinderella's signature. Very cool. So I think we did really really good on the mugs today. We got the two Cinderella mugs, the haunted mansion, the mermaid. Okay, what else? What else you tell me? Well, I think you guys heard I was making the sprint, the run, I made the dash, the Black Friday run. <laughs> Did I get one? I got it. Yeah! I finally got the Banshees. Very, very, very cool. This is the purple Banshee. Um, now, I think they had other colors, right? They had one, uh, the pink and purple. Pink and purple oh, banshee. Yeah. It's this interactive toy with sounds. I've never actually put on a banshee or played with a banshee. Uh, did you guys play with your banshee yet? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this banshee. Yeah. Like I said, I more got it out of a fear of missing out. It worked. It worked. The fear of missing out worked on me. I didn't want to miss out on a banshee. But um, it's taped here. We'll have to. You want to open it or open it later? Later. Okay. Um, well, we can open it now if you want to cut it with something. Just yeah. keep the box nice. I don't know if I have some pair of scissors here. All right, let's get it open. Ah, ah, open my BJ. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited for Oh, it's colorful. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. It's it's real. It's a real BJ. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this thing is real. I had no idea. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real BJ. Yeah. This thing is a little involved, right? To put together. I don't know, maybe it's gonna take too long, guys, to do this on camera. Whatever. It feels cool, but the tire, the tail feels real. He's got a little mouth on him. I'm sure that moves with the little thing there, the little handle. We'll play with this later, guys. I'll show you the Banshee in the next video. But I guess he needs a little assembly, or I don't know what he needs. Well, maybe batteries, whatever. But anyway, we got the Banshee. So we did really good. We got our mugs, we got our Banshees. Um, the ears are just weren't there it this seems morning. That they are sold out of, I, that's why they morning they need them. I think. Yeah, they were sold out of ears. You will never find a game. What the game ears? Yeah. Well, they'll get them back again. Maybe not. Yeah, sometimes you just have to wait. Maybe, yeah. yeah, no, there's no guarantee that they're sold out. There's been plenty of times that we've gone to the character warehouse and you think something sold out for good, and then it, it comes back. So no, 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 not no. Um, same deal as I drive yesterday. They've got a lot of Haunted Mansion merchandise. They got the dune buggies, the, the throws, the pillows, those are the mugs, etc. Um, only thing I, here's what I want to say. Both of us we agree. So we got in line. There was a line. The line was great. Like it was quiet. Uh, we let's see. The first batch of people went in at 10 a.m. when it opened. We were in the second batch of people. All the merchandise that the first batch of people got, we were able to get. 
Yeah, we were like 12, 15, not even that, 15 minutes. We were in the store with the second group of people. There was no pushing, there was no shoving. I think Disney's doing a great job by taking in little groups at a time. Well, because because at capacity, it's not at capacity. Like, it was comfortable in there. It was not that full. We were able to move around comfortably, go through merchandise. You weren't, it wasn't like a Walmart Black Friday by any means. I don't know why people keep calling it Walmart Black Friday. Not that at all. It was very relaxed, very nice atmosphere. It felt no different than going and shopping in the, in around six o'clock in the evening or something when there is no line outside. I think Disney did a great job. I enjoyed it. It was a fun experience. Um, the only I did different that you uh, didn't, you only could uh, uh, record? Well, that's what I was going to say. So what I did is I, um, and that's the whole thing. I only recorded a little bit. That's why in this video, you don't see me going through the whole store. And the reason why is because they let a group of people in, they do their shopping, cashier rings them up, you go on out the door, another group of people comes on in. So I didn't want to like, take away from other guest experience of waiting to get into the store to get the, the banshees or some of the harder to find stuff. So that's why I just real quick, because I was getting my banshee, I, I tried to get you guys clips of a couple of the new things like those pillows or whatever, the uh, the plush pillows, but um, I didn't want to like spend a lot of time in the store other than buying what I wanted to buy myself. So, um, By I the way, the banshees was a I didn't see them at all. Yeah. Unless there was a limit written somewhere that we didn't see, you could have bought more than one Banshee. Which I don't know that that's that cool. I think they should be limited to one per guest. That's just my opinion, one per person. I mean, but whatever. Maybe what do I know? They may have a lot left. You know, I know that they have some new Banshee. They may have already come out. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a Banshee aficionado, but I know that there were some new ones, or they already have come, but new ones at the parks with different colors and stuff. So maybe they're trying to flush out the first generation of Banshees. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a wrap on this video. Um, what do I want to say? I think, well, tomorrow is the first day of the Food and Wine Festival. That's what I want to talk about. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to make it tomorrow. We're going to do our best. I don't know if you have seen the weather, but we do have some impending inclement weather, possibly coming to Central Florida this weekend. So it kind of throws off our work schedule. But uh, we're going to try to get over to Food and Wine tomorrow. Just not 100% guaranteed when or if it will actually happen. We're gonna to try to get over to food and wine at some point tomorrow. It just depends on how our workflow goes with uh, with our job. But um, what else can I say? So be on the lookout for that video because you guys, I know the Character Warehouse people will really enjoy it because we're gonna be filming uh, Mouse Gear. We're gonna go inside and take a look at all the new food and wine merchandise, all the goodies, the, the magic bands, the yeah. shirts, the hoodies, the this, Eventually the that. from the festival, some stuff they send into the Character Warehouse. Yeah, eventually it gets there. Yeah. But these people wanna see it first before it gets to the Character Warehouse. Yeah. So we're going, to, we're going to Food and Wine. We're gonna do a really good merch video for you guys. I love doing merch videos. She loves doing merch videos. Yeah, so much. And um, <laughs> so yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, um, you know, leave a comment on this video, but also when you subscribe, make sure you click the notification icon, the bell. That way you'll know every time we upload the new videos, including these merchandise videos, whether it's Character Warehouse, or like I said, for the upcoming uh, flower, and, uh, flower, sorry, food and wine. Food and wine. Uh, festival. Merchandise video. Oh. Festival. Yeah, oh. thank you. <laughs> she understood, I think you guys understood. I'm the one that didn't understand what I was saying. But anyway, so yeah, that's a wrap. Hit the bell, be notified so you don't miss our videos on these uh, merchandise adventures. All right guys, take care, have a good one. Let me know in the comments, did we do all right? All right, take care, bye. Bye. Well, what's going on guys? It's Steve and I just want to take a few more seconds of your time to tell you about our website, mousesecrets.com, your home, for Disney Mansion shirts, woo! Yeah, that's right, like for your next Disney trip, if you wanna have some really colorful, bright, fun t-shirts to wear at the Magic Kingdom at Epcot, then check out mousesecrets.com. Let's take a look at the website. I've got it pulled up right now. So you just come to our homepage, click on Disney World Vacation t-shirts, just like I'm doing right now, and it'll open up and you can see all the different designs we've got. We've got our castle tie-dyes, castle solid shirts, castle multicolors. We've even got a US flag castle shirt, which I think is just super cool. We've got our Raglan three-quarter sleeve shirts and all of our different designs listed, even they have Disney Cruise Line. But um, yeah, and now here's the cool thing. Our shirts are 10% off right now, so we are running a sale. And, and personalization is free. That's right, we'll personalize your shirts for no extra charge. We can add your name below the design. Uh, we can add your name to the back of the shirt across the upper back. Um, we can do a family name like uh, Michael's Family Vacation or Johnson Family Vacation. 
and whatever you would like to do. We can even do short phrases, you know, just married or celebrating an anniversary or something like that. Yes, we'll personalize a shirt and there's no charge for it. And it's very simple to do. All you do is pick the design that you like. So let's say, go with the red tie-dye like I'm wearing right now. So I would click on the castle tie-dye. That'll open up just like it did. You'll see that it's 10% off. Um, select the size you want. So let's say you go with an adult small. Select your color. You can see all the different colors we've got. We've got a magical blue, a frontier land orange, a small world yellow, a beastly green, cars land pink, and like what I'm wearing right now in the video, park hopping red. So you would select the park hopping red and the size. Okay, then you come down here to this box and you enter your personalization that you want to appear on the shirt. So let's say you want to put Steve. You want to put Steve. Uh, you would just type Steve right to that block. And you can even type beside it, Steve under, um, um, put Steve front of shirt under design or Steve back of shirt. And that way we'll know where to add it. Also though at checkout, there is a place where you can leave a note to the seller, which is us. And you can also type in that note to seller, please put the personalization on the back of the shirt or please put the personalization underneath the design on the front of the shirt and we'll get it taken care of for you. Um, or you don't have to have a personalization at all. A lot of people buy our shirts just as they are without personalizing. But if you want to, you can and there's no extra charge to do that. We're offering a special free personalization and they're 10% off right now. Um, so yeah, super, super cool, bright, colorful shirts like I'm wearing right now in the video. Adds a little extra magic to your Disney vacation and to your photo pass pictures. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks a lot. Bye.